What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the brakenetic rotor situation. Um, just a follow up on the video that I put out a couple weeks ago, talking about how the brakenetic ro rotors that I had bought started just looking like junk. They seem to um, just be rusting and you know a lot of uh, corrosion was building up on them. I had only driven them for about 2,000 miles and a uh, couple months and two, I'd put two track days on them. Um, so eventually, or essentially what happened was uh, I, I contacted BrakeNetic and said, hey, this is what's going on. This is what these rotors look like. Um, what is happening to them? Why are they looking this way? This, you know, this is not good. And they called me up and let me know like, hey, I think that you melted the e-coat during your track days. Um, so we want to send you a new set. They did it, you know, completely free and everything, which uh, good on them. And uh, they actually dipped it in a zinc coating. So these are those rotors now. And when I did get them, the entire rotor was black. But then um, as I put on about 300 miles, you know, where the pad wear is, you know, it's gonna wear off that zinc and then it's gonna expose the bare um, metal on there. Now, speaking with BrakeNetic, they told me that this new zinc coating is supposed to withstand the track day temperatures a lot better than the E-coating and it shouldn't melt. That's what they look like right now after about 300 miles of use. And um, I just want to make this follow-up video to say, you know, uh, you know, this is what's going on. Uh, I got this remedied by BrakeNetic, so good on them, good customer service to get these, those new rotors out to me. Put these on a couple weeks ago and have just been driving around town, um, some freeway driving, some, you know, I, I bedded them in correctly and um, did, uh, did a couple canyon runs. So nothing too harsh on these brakes. Um, I'm not going to be able to test them out on the track again until later this year probably. Just um, if you have been following along, you know that I don't track this car in this form right now during the summertime just because it's too hot and the oil is going to pretty much just boil all the time on track after a few laps. So um, yeah, let me uh, zoom in now and kind of give you a closer look at what these look like. So here they are. They are exactly like my previous set, but they were dipped in zinc so they were completely black I will put a picture of what they looked like when they were brand new on here but I just want to show you what they look like after about um, 300 miles of wear on them like I said no track days but that will be later on in the year when I'll have a follow-up video so here they are they seem to be uh, holding up well and um, pretty pleased with uh, how they're looking so far. That's what they look like right now. Um, I do have the Project Mew NS400 pads on them right now. I have not used the HC800s. Those are my kind of track day pads. So um, yeah, if you have any questions on these, um, you know, let me know if you are another ISF owner that does track your car and you have um, maybe melted your e-coating as well, let me know. Um, Maybe it's just how I drive. Maybe I'm a little bit harder on the car. I don't know, but um, they did they did uh, start corroding, or I, I melted that e coating, which caused uh, you know, the corrosion to start. And uh, hopefully, it's not a, a widespread thing. I think for most people, the uh, these these brakes will work perfectly fine if you aren't tracking the car. I don't think that they would melt. You you're going to melt the e coating not tracking the vehicle. So. Um, let me know if you have any questions about it, and uh, in a few months, once I put some track days on these rotors, then I will go ahead and uh, make another video seeing how they hold up. So thanks again for watching this quick one, and we'll talk to you soon.